Hey guys, what's going on? Druzy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video. And we finally got Cupid Cartman to level 5, guys. We were able to get it today with the current weekend event that's going on. Because there's a lot of offers going on and I was able to buy some of them. Because Cupid Cartman's was actually the cheapest one so far. Because I really want to get Cupid Cartman to level 5. Like I've said multiple times in the last couple of episodes that have showed him in it. And showed him winning some matches for me almost by himself. I love Cupid Cartman. He's one of my favorite cards in the game. We almost got him to max level 5. Unfortunately, not enough candles to get him all the way or enough prayer beads. We're going to have to get a lot more of those over the course of time. And hopefully we're able to get him to max level 5 here relatively soon. As you see, he is 45 and 55. But still, much stronger than what he was before. 85 damage, 275 health so far at 45 and 55. Um, so we're going to use the health heal deck that I showcased in the video, I believe, yesterday, that I showcased with the heal versus... Uh, I also have built a sci-fi hybrid mix with Cupid Cartman as well. May show that as well at some point at the end of the episode, because I did get Robo Baby to level 5. Also, finally, she was very close to level 5, but we're going to start with the heal deck first. But, I mean, as I'm recording this video, here are the offers I was talking about. Wednesday, we had the Cupid Cartman outfit pack. There was also a Cupid Cartman pack. Thursday was Robo Bebe. Friday was Tally, which was today as I'm recording this video and I'm going to be posting it. Tomorrow will be Bounty Hunter Kyle. And then Ink and Craig gold pack will be on Sunday. I don't plan on doing anything with Ink and Craig. I already got him to level 2. I don't really care. Bounty Hunter Kyle is max level 3. I don't really want to spend money to get him to 4. I don't think he's going to be that worth it. Uh, Cartman and Tally were the ones that I really f wanted to focus in on. And so I got Cupid Cartman to level 5, which is what I wanted to do. And let's just, again, showcase him in some matches here. See how he is for you guys, if you guys are interested in leveling your Cupid Cartman up. Since he is much easier to obtain than some of those other cards, you can request Cupid Cartman. He is now available in all the availability to get him. So it's just that much easier to level him up, if that's something you're wanting to do. So this more or less was showcasing his strength at level 5. Uh, to see if he's worth it to you guys to really invest into because he's been worth it for me. Uh, I've I've liked him. I liked him at level four. Let's see how he is at level five against Eduardo. Eduardo, the great one, the first is what I'm going to go with. We got Zen. Zen Cartman is the next card that my my next rare. I'm focusing to try to get to level five. He is just four right now, but I've been starting to request him within the clan, and so far my clan mates have been nice enough to. Uh, help me get that and stuff, so. The poison comes out. Just fine. Well, uh, let's just... Let's just keep that the way it is. I need butters here to stop. Enforce her here. Now we have an opportunity to get Cupid Cartman out. So let's test him out here. Let's put him over here to the side. Go ahead and heal up here with this. And we got Cuba Cartman here on the new kid doing some damage. Nathan blocks him away. Let's get these rats to deal with Stan. Cuba Cartman unfortunately will die to Nathan. I still got the rats here though. We got Blood Elf Baby. Uh, Kenny's gonna die there to all that. Let's get Friar Jimmy out here to try to block Kenny and all of these rats. Rats are gonna come in. Friar Jimmy's gonna go down. We're gonna lose the first bar. Unfortunately to Elwar El Eduardo. Can't speak. At all. Really want to get this Robin Tweak Cubic Cartman combo to work out for us. Because I did remove. Um, oh, well, there's that. Let's lower all this damage. Cubic uh, Cartman should be. Let's get him healed up with Robin Tweak. And then let's just go to town. Uh, did he just mind control me? He did. 
I'm gonna keep Cuba Carmen alive longer to get this bar down. I don't want him going anywhere. We <laughs> get him to get that shot off to get that kill. I mean, he's gonna die here to. I mean, we're not going to get two bars, but he's able to at least get one bar by himself. And you saw that ridiculous arrow track all the way from when he got knocked back there by Nathan. So, uh, at least able to get a bar out of that. Let's try at least one more match with the heal deck, per se. And then we'll try the sci-fi deck, I suppose, for at least a match, maybe two. Probably some misplays on my part in that last match. It's all good. Um, you know, I'm trying to get into a little bit of a hurry to get this episode done because I am actually looking at a venue today for a possible wedding venue for me for next year. So winning Garcher 27? That's what we're going to go with. This is Gamertag. And if you guys are relatively new to the channel, I do at times talk about personal stuff. I don't talk about it all the time because I know most of you probably don't really care. But for the ones that might care, that is something that is going to be happening for me today. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's just do this. The fireball comes in. Let's see if we can deal with Captain Wendy. Now he's going to come in here. It's going to be too little too late though. Stan the Great's going to get on winning Archer. Do some good damage for us. Uh, let's wait till Terrence is here and distracted. And then we're going to start poking away at him. With our Cuba Cartman. Then we're going to heal all this damage. Now I do have to take into consideration he does have Fireball. Um, Cuba Cartman doing a pretty good job so far. Keep that up. Regen him up. That should take that first bar down. Oh, he fireballed him. So Friar Jimmy's going to get that first bar for us, however. So keep a Cartman coming in clutch, taking a second bar for us. And then our rats. Would a hallelujah have been smart there? The answer is probably no. But it is intriguing to think of what could have been, I guess. Let's do this. Let's do this. Which may not be the right play. Let's get butters in here. Let's remove all this damage potential. Let's just Kenny in here. We'll really take that all out. Let's get Keeper Cartman in here in the back. Get this heal. See, so you see him against a level five Terrence. Granted, I am healing him up, so I got to take that into consideration here. You see, Blood Elf Baby surviving so much. Let's get Hallelujah. Look at that little bit of look at those health bars to those rats as well. Just insanity. And yeah, that's good survivability there in match match two. We'll get. Butter's a little bit stronger. there. <laughs> and that's a a good game. Nice outfit there for winning Ar against winning Archer 27. Able to get the win. We're about halfway through. And as you see, I did wear the Cupid Wings outfit that did come with the Cupid Cartman uh, packs as well. And yeah, we got the fireworks. There we go. So, uh, you know, hope you guys are doing well in the event. This event la is lasting quite a while. As you see, we're just at the halfway point, so let's see what we can get from this pack. And then we'll, we'll wrap up the episode with one match with the sci-fi deck, just to try that out as well. Uh, some keys. I need some candles, though. I'm going to get some poison, a catapult Timmy, four Robo Bebes, and two Calamity Heights. I'm not seeing great drops in the event reward so far. I mean, granted, yeah, I'm only halfway in our group, 
we're almost we're well past the halfway point now um but i mean have you guys gotten anything is there anything guaranteed at the end of the solo event have you guys noticed is there like a guaranteed uh tally or a guaranteed uh you know bounty hunter kyle or something like that or have you guys even seen an ink and crank drop because allegedly this event you get a higher chance of getting newer cards that have been recently added i believe the last five cards that have been added uh, have a higher chance of dropping allegedly i mean are you guys finding that or or not because i as far as i know my clanmates keep asking about it i haven't seen it personally and none of my clanmates have really mentioned it so i was just wondering what you guys if you guys have noticed that as well um as you've been going through and fighting uh, within pvp or within the current event as you see there's two days and 17 hours left i'll probably record one more video today of uh, showcasing something else that i i planned to make an episode on this weekend then i will do a showdown probably sunday to wrap up the weekend and then start fresh next week with some more stuff so south park photo story ain't going anywhere guys it's still going to be all over this channel for a little while here so keef keeft we're gonna go with keeft how about that so keeft here i'm gonna remove the k and we're gonna showcase uh the sci-fi hybrid-ish deck here and so he's got sci-fi so we know that uh, let's get so he's got sci-fi and fantasy i want to get bounty hunter kyle out and then keep a cartman out and then i want to distract everyone and i want to regen the poison to counter it I will lose Bebe, Bay, but I'll keep Cupid Cartman, who should survive for a little while. He's going to survive for a little while. Uh, so, near. I mean, he's got the advantage in damage. We got the rats out just in time to stop Dwarf King Clyde from doing much anything here. Get Alien Clyde's Poison. Now I'm going to have an easy one bar push. I don't think he can counter this since he doesn't have Rogue Token. He won't have any good spells to counter that. Let's regen up Alien Clyde because he can take this bar by himself. You're just going to leave him alone, aren't you? I want Sand to distract. Bar Brady. Oh, did not work. Level 6 bar ready though. Can I pull butters? I cannot pull butters. So butters is going to take bar number 2 by himself. Hmm. I just lost. That was an interesting deck. <laughs> that was an interesting deck. I've seen a lot more Bar Brady's. I don't know about you guys. I've seen a lot more Bar Brady's. Um, we got a PvP pack though, so I, I mean a level six Bar Brady. That is insane to try to counter that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm I'm basically speechless from that. PC Principles, Sheriff Carmen, Superior 5, Freeze Ray, and some Angel Wendy's. Here we go, guys. A look at a level 5, almost max Cupid Cartman here. Uh, if there's some combos you'd like to see with the level 5 Cartman, whether most of you would probably want to see, you know, Robin Tweak, which I did showcase a little bit in this episode, or if there's any other combos you think might work with him to make him better. Bounty Hunter Kyle, I try attempted as well to try to see if that little extra damage would work out. Uh, I definitely really like, again, really like the card. Really think he's a lot stronger than people give him credit for. I think he's a great counter for Terrence Mephesto, which is rampant in the higher levels. Uh, but a lot of the decks that I've been showcasing lately on the channel have been pretty range heavy, and maybe I need to step away from that. So if there's a deck combination you'd like to suggest down below with Cupid Cartman, put it in the comments section. Or again, any combos or anything specific you'd like to see with him. As again, he's going to be a staple most likely of my decks here going forward if I can because I again really like the card really enjoy the card and he's just hilarious his interactions all the stuff about him are just really cool but until next time guys my name is Drewzy 